Hello students, today we shall perform an activity to verify degree measure theorem. The theorem states that the angle subtended by an arc of a circle at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. For this activity, first we require a cardboard. We take a cardboard and cut a circle of any radius. Here, say we have taken radius of 14 centimeters. After that, we take the center as O. Now, after marking O, we take three points, point A, point B and point C. Then, we join OB, OC, AB, and AC. After this, what do you observe? We observe that arc BC subtends angle BOC at the center and same arc BC subtends angle A at the remaining part of the circle. That means, angle BOC is formed at the center and angle BAC is formed on the remaining part of the circle. Both are subtended by the same arc here. We have to verify that angle BOC is twice angle BAC. For this, we prepare replicas with the help of tracing paper and colored chart paper. Here, we have already prepared replicas of this. Look here, this is the replica of angle BOC and we have also prepared two replicas of angle BAC. We need two replicas here because we will have to verify that angle BOC is twice angle BAC. For this, we put one of the replicas over angle BOC in this manner and arrange the other replica also adjacent to that without leaving any gap in between. And what do you observe? Yes, angle BOC is completely covered by two replicas of angle BAC. This verifies that angle BOC is of two times the measure of angle BAC. This was the case when we had taken here this BC as a minor arc. Now, let us see the same result for the semicircle. For that, take the center as O. And we draw a line BOC passing through the center of the circle. What is this line called? It is called diameter. Now, we also consider one more point on the circumference of the circle and name it as A dash. Now, we join A dash B. Also, we join A dash C. We consider angle BOC, here this is a straight angle as we can see. We mark this angle as BOC and mark this angle as BA dash C in this manner. Now, we had to verify the result that angle BOC is 2 times angle BA dash C. For this, we can do one thing, we can just fold this and we can check that it is covering completely angle BA dash C. What does this justify? 
yes it justifies that angle B O C was a straight line. So, it forms a straight angle and when it was folded it is covering here angle B A dash C. It is verifying a result that angle at the center is twice the angle subtended at the remaining part of the circle in the case of semicircle also. Here do you notice one more result here? What is that? Yes, it is also verifying one more result that speaks about the angle in a semicircle. Angle in a semicircle is always a right angle. This is we can write down as angle B A dash C is equal to 90 degrees because angle in a semicircle is a right angle. We have also proved here that angle B O C is twice the measure of angle B A dash C. So, students we have verified the theorem in the two cases in the case of a minor arc and also semicircle. Similarly, you can verify this result for the major arc. Thank you.